So carrying on with our exponentials, um, now we're going to look at using the rule like we've done before. For each of the rules above, find the number of matches, so m, needed for the seventh pattern. So, again we're looking for m, which is our y, and we're trying to find the number of matches m using the seventh pattern. So my rule, I'm going to use my substitution, m is equal to 3 to the power of 7, because p is now 7, times 2. And we can put this into the calculator, just to show you that. If you need a power key, it's this one that looks like the upside down carrot. That's the one we're going to use. So I'm going to say 3 to the power of 7 times 2. And I get 4,374 matches. So it will need a lot of matches. That's for sure. And for using Xcalc, like we've, sorry, YCALC on these, like we've done before. I can go menu into graph. And here I'm going to type in my rule. So again, using that hat key, 3 hat for P, the thing that I don't know, times 2. Draw it up. There's my rule. So I might think about changing, maybe using my window or zoom. I don't need negative values. I'm going to make this bigger than 7, because I know my x has to be 7, so I might make it 8. And then, don't need any negative values again. And because it's an exponential, I might um, make this number really, really, really big. As you can see, I need 4,000 of them, but if I'm not sure exactly how many, I just might make it giant at like 10,000 or something. Draw it up. There's my graph. So again, exponentials start off and increase really rapidly. So it's just kind of like a curve that goes up. Not like a parabola that has a U shape. This one just has one side that goes up. G solve. Here I'm looking for Y, so I'm going to use Y calc, an X of 7. And there it is, 4,374. Okay. Um, might just carry on and do the next one altogether. So for what pattern are 486 matches needed? So here I'm looking for P. And I know that m is equal to 486. So I'm going to show my substitution here. 486 matches. 3 to the power of p that I don't know, times 2. And here I'm going to use y calc. So if I go to g solve and arrow over again, I'm going to use, sorry, not y calc, x calc early in the morning. Xcalc, I'm looking for X, so I'm going to use Xcalc. Because we're looking for X. So Xcalc, the Y value that I have is 486. Plug it in. And I can't actually read that number, but if you exit, draw it up again, and arrow yourself down a little bit to lift that graph up, we'll try this again. G solve, Xcalc. My y is 486, and my x is 5. So in this case, p is equal to 5, and this is the fifth pattern. So for the fifth pattern here, I would need 486 matches.